Hello everyone, here to show you a little bit of what's going on on a project at my house. I have been recommended by a coworker this can of Rust-Oleum tub and tile aerosol. It is an acrylic epoxy formula, epoxy acrylic formula, and it's supposed to work on fiberglass and acrylic surrounds and porcelain tubs and things like that to give your bathroom an update. Seems pretty cool. Says it does it in minutes. Sorry if you're hearing some growls. My my dog is scratching her back. She's a goofball. And yeah, um, says it should do it in minutes. I've already sanded and wiped down my tub. So let's see what happens. This is after three cans. This is after five cans of paint. You can still see a lot of blotchiness. And I still need to cover the inside of the tub and the outside lip and I really need to put like another fourth coat over the rest of the walls because they're really blotchy. They look really bad. This one's almost there. Yeah, that one's almost done. Finally, this back wall's a nightmare and I don't want to think about how many cans I need to go through to finish this section up. This one's almost done, I think. I don't know if two cans is gonna cut it. Ah! So annoying. I don't know if you can see just how dusty I am. My brows, you can kinda see it. You can kinda see it there. There's a lot of dust with this product. I'm wearing a mask. I wish I had safety goggles because I'm pretty sure some of this dust is inevitably getting in my eyes right now. Not cool, not safe. This is how much dust one can produces that I have to wipe down every time I get ready to move to a new section. Okay, I purchased four more containers. I've used about one and a half since I've gotten back from the store and I'm gonna let this cure for a bit before going in again feel a little more optimistic about the results. All right. Hello. So I have to apologize. I feel like I was a little pissy when I made those last videos, but those were my honest opinions about the joys of a DIY project that you don't know what you're getting into until you're in it. And you are in so far, you can't look back now. You're committed. Uh, gave me some art school PTSD, not gonna lie. And at that point, I had spent over eight hours prepping my surface and scrubbing down the tub, sanding the tub, taking off the hardware, running into the hardware issue, which we still haven't resolved. I don't know if we're gonna need to call a plumber in or how much that will cost. Yay! Um, Because we had to drill out the screw for the shower handle. Um, but... I think in total, I made about three trips to Menards. I purchased 10 cans and what happened is what happened. I have to get back to functional life and it takes 72 hours for the shower to cure. On top of it, my master bath shower for some reason, it's never been good, but now that one's not working. So we really need to get this stuff to cure, fix that shower handle and get back on the road. Well, let's go take a look at the results. Might I go ahead and cut in here and say, give a like if you have done a DIY project yourself. Give this video a like if you've ended up going to the hardware store multiple times to the point that you feel like they recognize you now. They know who's coming in the doors. Um, yeah, I'm just curious to know also what your experience is with this product. Have you used it before? Was it successful? Was it unsuccessful? Did you run into a lot of the same issues I did? Was it a little bit easier? Um, you know, do you feel comfortable using it, etc.? I would love to know. Just go ahead and drop those uh, comments right down in the video, and I'd love to read them and find out your uh, experience with it. 
All right, so first off, I wanted to show you guys the sanding blocks that I used to prepare it. At Menards here, I got them for, I think it was like $5, not bad. Came in a set of three, I only used one. Um, and, and here's where we're leaving it, okay? It's, um, like I said, I went through 10 cans of the Rust-Oleum spray, tub and tile spray. Uh, the camera is actually picking up more blotchiness than I feel like I see with my naked eye. Like I see way more blotches back there in the camera than I do with my naked eye. And I think it's also because it's picking up more on the light and the sheen. Obviously the thicker areas have a higher sheen. Um, this wall turned out pretty good. This back wall here looks pretty good to the naked eye. Um, the base was not great, but it is there. As you can see, I like taped up all my hardware stuff. Um, yeah. I will say my thoughts on this are pros with the spray paint mix versus the paint kit mix. I was able to get in here pretty easily. Unfortunately, you do see my little dribble, my sloppiness right there, but I was able to hit the corners and get an even coat in the corners of these cubbies or down here. I don't know why there's a black spot. Yeah, go, go away. There we go. I was able to get in there pretty easily. So that was awesome. I would say that's definitely a pro of the paint. Um, for sure is that it's pretty easy to apply that ways and you tape off the perimeter and you're, you're in good shape to go. All right, so we need to talk about the cons. The cons are if you're using a surf, this spray on a surface that is textured, uh, I found that the surface of my tub and, or not the tub really, it was the acrylic surround was textured and it almost felt like it was eating the paint and that it was absorbing it, which caused me to need to buy more cans and more cans and continue the cycle onward. Also, another con is that uh, if you do end up needing to purchase about six cans or more, uh, the price tag definitely jumps up. If you only need to buy a few cans, then okay, for about $40 with tax, you can resurface your project, awesome. But if it requires more, obviously it's about, for me, it was like $13 without tax. It was like $12.94 each can. And the more cans you add, the more your project budget goes up. Sorry, those are my dogs. These guys are always with me. So yeah, um, can get really expensive. Also, another con, super messy, dusty. Especially if you're not great at spray painting and you're not familiar with the proper distance, the further, if you're too far away, it's gonna create more dust. And also underneath two masks, that's where my nose was. Yeah, I was breathing in stuff. I had dust up my nose hairs. Um, I had dust, I think I complained about that too. I had dust all up in my nose. It was caked on the sides of the nostrils, like bad makeup. Like it was like baby powder was like stuck all around here. It was all over my nose. Um, I think I showed some footage of my hair covering, like I had to cover my hair and I was even using a shopping bag to like cover the tops of my glasses because otherwise the dust, actually one night the dust did get in my eye and it started making my eye red and blurring my vision, kind of freaked me out to be honest. So I was like instantly in the other bathroom, flushing my eyes, both eyes out. And then I like started resting a plastic bag to like cover the tops of my glasses to prevent dust from seeping back there. It's a very dusty product. It is super intense on the fumes. That's another con is it is super intense on the fumes. Now that would have happened with the spray paint or the epoxy roll-on kit, either one, but oh my gosh, after a while I was starting to feel really woozy and I had the door open, the, the vent fan on, I had another fan pushing air out, I had two windows open in the other rooms, really intense on the fumes. Uh, I would say, what other cons are there? I would say those are my main ones. Um, oh, and in my case, if the paint can, if the spray paint can dribbled and like put a globble of like extra thick paint in an area, if you went to like touch or something, it basically dissolved the underlying layers of your epoxy finish. So no bueno, no good. Um, that caused some flaws with my finish. I think lesson learned, uh, if I had slick tile or porcelain, I think this project would have gone better. That's actually what my coworker used it for, but. 
but when, I'm gonna close in real close. When you have a textured acrylic background like this, it doesn't go so well. It really soaks up the paint. I think I would have done better to go with the epoxy kit where I could roll across the back and the base and get a really good coat. I think it would have given me more of like this sheen and a thicker coat. And also maybe without the propellant kicking around, I wouldn't have as much issue with all this like lint and dust and fur getting in the finish. It's kind of gross. It was really annoying. Um, plus the dust kicked up and it kept collecting down here. Uh, and then you see there's more pet hair. So like, that's a life with pets. But anywho, yeah, dust, it would create its own dust and I would have to basically tack cloth down the whole project in between coats. So I would have to spray it, let it cure, tack it down and dust it, even run a little bit of like masking tape over the top to get rid of any pet hairs or extra dust that I didn't catch and then give it a couple minutes to dry again and then go back in with more spray. I think I'm gonna give this project like uh, two and a half, maybe three thumbs, three thumbs. I guess overall it's pretty easy. Um, unfortunately, like you saw with the blotchiness and just I feel like the way the texture absorbed it, I might try the roller kit like that little tub and tile like kit where I think you mix the pigment with the epoxy and then you can roll it on the surface. So I might try that here in about a month or two. I need a break. I'm burned out from that project right now. And I, like I said, it just takes so long to cure. You really need to either have an extra bathroom or an extra plan on how you're going to get clean and go about your daily life. Um, thank goodness I work remote right now. But yeah, um, two and a half thumbs. It was a lot of work to prep. There were, in some ways, a lot more cons than pros. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm decently happy, but I'm not thrilled with the finish and how it looks today. But yeah, just wanna give you guys a heads up on this real life DIY project. Also, I would love to know y'all's experience with this product if you've used it before. Was it helpful? Did it work? Um, how has it been lasting for you? Is it aging well? They say supposedly it can last about three and a half years with normal use, but what exactly is normal use? And were they bathing dogs in that tub? Who knows? But yeah, please go ahead and uh, list those comments on how your experience went, and I look forward to reading them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!